Hello and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. So I'm going to be continuing the timed event in this video, uh, hopefully finishing in this video. The Calling of the Worms introduction is the next part. It says, near the meeting spot with the two researchers, you hear a quarrel in the distance. So let's like go to quest and it wants us to wait until 8 to 12 the next day. So I'll do that very fast and it's the next day. And now I just got to go and talk to the researchers. Oh, they're not in Naru Village like I thought they were going to be. So I'll have to teleport here and run all the way over there. No big deal. So, why did you order customized rivets? They don't improve performance at all, do they? Riveted armor is a symbol of romance for us Kasharawar researchers. You guys have been at it since yesterday. Ah, you're already here. Not exactly. We actually had the debate about funding yesterday. Huh. We were actually arguing about something else. But before I knew it, we went right back to arguing about funding... something else? I've polished the seams of the components until they are shiny and sparkly, but Sh is trying to abandon the plan. Abandon? I just want to have, uh, I just want a temporary pause. Didn't you notice that there's something wrong with the environmental parameters? If we continue with the assembly, the charging efficiency of the device will be much lower than expected. We need to figure out what's going on in this area, eliminate all external influences, and, and then proceed with assembly as planned. There are plenty of situations where the ideal and actual circumstances don't match. There's no need to be so fussy. I took the margin of error in consideration when I drafted the blueprint, so it's not a big deal at all. Besides, something, sometimes you just have to test things out before you can figure out what the problem is. Is that why you tested experimental device number two until it exploded that other year? That, that was different. I didn't realize the need to leave the room for error back then. Uh, is there a safer way to do this? I'm thinking maybe we could first switch off the turret's firing function and just do a simulated experiment of its charging process. That won't do. I don't trust your judgment on this. Let's get rid of the turret ignition module. And I'll safeguard it for you. You can install the other components however you please. Remove the ignition module. Then the Wenit Slayer cannon will be ju uh, just be one big paperweight. Didn't you say we uh, we just do an experimental simulation of the charging process? At the end of the day, you're still thinking about firing that ca that cannon. Ah. Uh, Let's just disable the firing function. Maybe start by building the framework. I don't know. Well, all right. Let's think of it as a trial assembly. If only you would just said this earlier. I expect a lot of monsters to be attracted during the installation process. When the moment comes, we'll be counting on you, adventurer. In the fulminating sandstorm challenge, Deviant win it can suddenly attack from underground and disrupt the operation. The charging devices and the Wenit Slayer cannon require a stable operating environment. All opponents in various areas must be defeated for the two machines to, to be assembled. So let's talk to Vinayak here. Brave adventurer, are you ready now? I'm ready. Excellent, excellent. Then let us begin. Okay, here we go. Bonus effect details. All damage dealt by party members, normal charge, dex, and plunging will be increased by 20%. Ah, the sandstorm came out of nowhere. We aren't in danger, are we? I don't know. As long as I don't have to actually defend anything and just... Like, nothing's taking damage here, I don't think, right? If that's the case, then I can... Take my time. Hmm. Can I even defeat this thing? I don't know. Let's uh time for take off. Gather these things up right fast. Here we go. Brace yourself. Good. And then stun them all. 
Now I gotta keep avoiding that giant thing that keeps coming out of the ground. I believe that's a win it. There we go, and set up. That's one of the devices set up. Another device is over here. I think that I'm supposed to go for this one? Or am I wrong? Is it that one over there? It's that one over there. Uh, taking a second to get to it. Let's gather these guys up. Here we go. It's funny how it was completely peaceful before and all of a sudden it's just everything's going on. Monsters everywhere. I mean, they did say that it was gonna happen, but... Stabilize. Yahoo! Okay. Time for takeoff. Gather you all up again. Uh, unfortunately, Venti's attack wasn't really doing much anything against those. Okay. This should be the final one. I think. Uh, wait. Think you can get away? Let's play. Maybe. Oh, crap. Well, that's unfortunate. I could have saved it for this guy, but I didn't know that he was gonna appear. Well, I'll, I'll get a chance to use it again here in a second. Yeah, just like I thought. Okay. Ah, oh, no. That's unfortunate. Let's stun him. Die already. Good. And now, I've done that. I just need to get back over to this. And I don't know if I just need to interact with it or if I have to climb it or what. Oh, it just says to set it up. Good. Challenge completed. Awesome. That was close. Even the Winnet have come to mess up our plan. Hey, if we hadn't deactivated the ignition, we could have killed it. Now that the Winnet has escaped, it'll be, uh, it'll be at least one more day before it lets its guard down again. You're not planning to argue over the tiniest detail and let it go again tomorrow, are you? Um, but what about the parameters? I have tested them all, and although the charging speed is a little slower, uh, is a little lower than the calculated value, it, it does not affect use, and there are no safety risks. Shreya, I know you want to consider and analyze everything before acting, but you know, uh, but you know, things don't always go according to plan. If you keep getting hung up over the smallest details, you'll miss the best opportunity to act. Remember that time our midterm thesis defense got delayed? Hesitating won't help, uh, uh, won't get us anywhere. Ah, uh, okay. Here's your ignition mod module. Alright, tomorrow we'll finally be able to put the Winnet Slayer cannon into action. I'd like to bring them back to our village and take her around with them a little more. We gotta make sure that we're properly ready for the Winnet Slayer Cannon's first ever official appearance. But why is there a deviation in the environmental parameters? What caused the Winnet uh, the Winnet to suddenly act out? You really can't just let these matters rest, Mister Adventurer. Could you please come back tomorrow? By then, we should be facing the Winnet directly, and hopefully, we'll have some sort of clue. So I just need to advance time forward, probably. Find out in a second. Oh, I can claim this. Almost forgot about that. After three days of busy work, the Winnet Slayer Cannon has finally it will finally showcase its power. So let's uh, go to the quest and wait until the next day. It says. And here it is, the next day. They're pretty close by. You're here, adventurer. We were just about to make the necessary installations. If all goes well, we'll be able to give that monster a good lesson to remember today. During the formal charging process, there may also be monsters who will try to disrupt the process. 
When that time comes, please keep an eye out for the charging process and the durability of the device. Oh no, I have to protect it too. Leave it to me. Thank you very much, Adventure. Ah, I've got an idea. You've been busy running around helping with the Winnet Slayer cannon. The honor of testing it for the first time should be yours. You don't want to do that yourself. I'll be happy enough watching to, to watch the shots land. Besides, to let someone else light the fire so that we can see the firing in all its glory, ah, it speaks for itself. All you have to do is protect the charging device from the monsters and wait for the energy to fill up. Watch for the moment when the when it reveals its vulnerable spot and then fire it, uh, fire at it with all you've got. The ignition and auto-correcting mechanisms will take care of the rest. Sounds impressive. Aether, Paimon also wants to watch. Okay, I'll handle it. Alright, that's the deal then. Let me tell you how it works. Paimon's heard lots of people talking about this academia extravaganza thing earlier. What? Wonder what that is. What was she talking Maybe about? Maybe there'll be fun things to do there. Let's go to the academia and have a look for ourselves. What? What the? A Parade of Providence event unlocked. What? Anyways, the Deviant Winnet uh, will sometimes enter a berserk state, in which they will keep their distance and launch long-range attacks. During this time, they cannot be damaged normally. The Winnet Slayer Cannon is the only weapon that can defeat the Deviant Winnet. Use the charging device to, pour, uh, to power the cannon up, and only then can it fire. However, charging devices will also attract nearby opponents. Attacking certain opponents will result in the coalescing of elemental energies. Touching these coalescences will charge the Winnet Slayer cannon. Rocks in the nearby area sometimes contain such energies, but they can only be destroyed by the Winnet's attacks. Baiting the Winnet into destroying these rocks can, it seems to be the most effective method. Okay. Anyways, that's weird. Did some new event unlock or something? Afraid of Providence? Yeah. Wow. I was not expecting something like that to happen while I was in the middle of playing. Weird. And now we'll talk to Viniac to start this. Yep, I'm ready. Alright, Sandstorm's whipping up now. Everyone to your positions. Okay, let's get this party started. All party members have their elemental mastery increased by 100, it says. Uh, that's nice. So I still got to defend the charging station. I wonder, can the Wennet actually damage the charging station? I hope not. Brace yourself. That would be unfortunate. Uh, let's, let's hope that I don't have to, uh... Oh. What's going on? What the? Uh, is that a Wennet? It might be. Oh boy. Uh, okay, clearly I've got to keep collecting these things. Uh, and I've also got to convince it to break this rock over here. Oh. Okay, cool. Somehow I imagine that it would look different than that. It definitely looks really intimidating when it comes out like that. Hmm. I wonder, can I convince it to break this rock right here by standing near it? Yeah, like that. Yeah, I can. Cool. So that's good. Oh, I better focus on fighting these though. Don't want to have it damage this machine beyond repair. There we go. Okay, now I've just got to get this right there, just like that. Cool. And then over here. Come on. Awesome. And then there's some more rocks all the way back here. 
it's not too much longer before the machine is completely charged. Okay, cool. Uh, charging complete. Go to the turret to fire. Okay, now I just gotta wait for it to appear. Oh, it's just automatic. Awesome! Was that enough? Oh, wow. That may have actually been enough. Yeah, it was. Did you see that, Shreya? Our Winnet Slayer Cannon is a game changer. I wish all the supervisors who listened to our thesis defense could come and see this. This would cure them of their antiquated views. So, it really did go off without a hitch. I thought it was going to end up like experimental device number three. Ahem. <clears throat> Only from our failures do we learn to succeed. I'm no longer who I used to be. How many accidental uh, accidents happened that year? Well, anyway, this experiment was a success, and that's all that matters. Yeah, while the ball is rolling, maybe we should try it somewhere else. Eyewitness reports say that there are there are one in the in this area, numbering in the double digits at the very least. Whoa, double digits! You're not gonna pick them off one by one, are you? That would take a really long time. Huh? What's the matter? If it's the maintenance of the Winnet Slayer cannon you're concerned about, you don't have to worry. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It would take a long time to repeat this process over and over again. Even if the machine doesn't break down, we will. Viniac, not everyone can be jolted back to life after just smelling machine oil. Really? Looks like the wetware performance will have to be considered next time. Wetware performance? Huh. Anyway, let's call it a day with data from this full run, uh, full run and samples collected after the battle. I am one step closer to solving this puzzle. Uh, what puzzle? Why the women are behaving violently, abnormal environmental parameters, uh, if we can figure that out, we might be able to get to the bottom of this mess. Please give me one more day to do some research. By the uh, by, this time tomorrow, we should have the results. Hmm. Okay, sure. And claim the prize here. And select the next one on the list. The Culling of the Worms conclusion. Near, near the meeting spot with the two scholars, you once again hear the sound of a distant quarrel. So let's go to the quest. It'll tell me, yep, to wait till the next day, so I'll do that. Hello, Viniac, again, and Shreya. So, as far as the conclusion is concerned, we've made a convincing case for using the Winnet Slayer cannon to get rid of the Winnet, right? That's different. Don't give me that told to sell look. Here we go again. What are you squabbling about this time? Ah, Mr. Adventurer, listen to me. I found what the cause is. The frequent activity of the Wenet underground has caused a disturbance in the elemental energy in this, air in this region. This energy in turn affects the behavior of the Wenet, causing them to start running amok on the surface, further exacerbating the environmental imbalance. The abnorma abnormality of the in the charging device's efficiency was also due to the disturbance of the elemental energy in the environment. I knew the machine that I designed would never break down so easily. If you don't consider the surrounding environment, wouldn't that be a design problem? And since the cause is overactive when it, is the solution to just keep fighting more when it? Uh, no, either I don't think that is, but I'll select that anyways. So after going around in several circles, we're back to where we started. Knowing what to do and knowing why you should do it are two different things. As a researcher, you couldn't even grasp that. And that isn't even the end of it. Normally, nature sets limits on the ecology and behavior of populations to keep the, environmental stab the environment stable. The chaotic elemental energy disrupts this balance, which makes the Wenet extremely active. As long as we can find a way to return the elemental environment to its normal state, we can reduce the Wenet activity. After a while, the balance should restore itself. Redirect the flow of elemental energy? But how do we do that? 
Well, as long as we figure out where the strongest concentration of elemental energy is, we'll be able to direct the flow of that energy with a device. We unclog the flow of energy, and nature should take care of the rest. I've already calculated the location of the node. It's somewhere around here. As for a device that can redirect the flow of energy, we already have one. You mean the Winnet Slayer Cannon? Precisely. The Winnet Slayer Cannon can channel the surrounding elemental energy before discharge discharging it all in one go. Next, we just have to set up the Winnet Slayer Cannon and go through the same process as yesterday. There may also be monsters and when it that will be drawn to the weapon during this time. Heh. <laughs> Perhaps a small reduction in their numbers would help expedite the natural balance. So, as far as the conclusion is concerned, we still have to use the Winnet Slayer cannon to shoot at monsters. Right? Ah. Don't give me that told you so luck. Okay then, Vinayak, let's get started. If Shreya's hypothesis, uh, hypotheses are correct, this will be the Winnet Slayer Cannon's most critical battle. Brave adventurer, are you ready? I am indeed ready. Alright then, let us begin. Let us prove to all of Samaru that this cannon isn't just a pretty face. And here we go. Attack speed of all party members who use pole arms, claymores, and swords will be increased by 20%. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and hopefully knock out some of them. Yeah, I was able to knock out a few there. There we go. And now that I've done that, let's kind of bait the win it over here, hopefully. There we go. Worry about the rest of that a bit. Hey, uh, I will have order. Kinda. Solidify. I kinda may have messed up a little bit. Oh no, phone is ringing. Give me a second. There we go. Took care of that. Now I gotta take care of these enemies. Time for takeoff. Uh, did I collect the? Uh, I think I collected the energy. Oh. Uh, let's go over here now. Thank you. And run over here. Hopefully it'll destroy this. And missed it. Come on. Once more. There we go. And now I can go up here. No, why would you? That was weird. The camera automatically went down. I don't know why it did that. Okay. Uh, I don't think I need to really aim for the rocks uh, while fighting the normal enemies. I think it just wastes time. Think you can get away? Brace yourself. Uh, here we go. Oh. For some reason, I thought that I could use her elemental skill. Got up the hard way that I couldn't. There we go. Now I just gotta wait for it to attack these. Oh. Thank you. It might hit this. Yeah, it did. Oh, it hit all of them. Okay, dodge the when it's attacks and wait for the ignition. Uh, all the way up there. Okay. So go down here to this and then interact with it. And it's down? Yeah, it's down. Cool. Is that all? Hmm. Sure enough, the charging unit is running more smoothly. As you said, the elemental environment in this area is returning to normal. The activity is effect of affected w when it will calm down after some time too. Yeah, yeah, thanks to your precious when it slayer cannon, 
we can report back to our success and go home. It's our precious when it's layer cannon, Shreya. I never forgot th that this assignment was a joint effort. We definitely had our share of disagreements, but without you, this, the cannon wouldn't have been a success. It been a success. Blah. What's gotten into you? Is this about wanting me to put in a good word for you in my report? Well, I just suddenly feel that what we went through just now is quite similar to our experience from that other year. It wasn't always smooth sailing, but we still made it in the end. And let's face it, in the end, your solution proved more efficient. I... Uh, I... I can't take all the credit because you were onto something too. If you hadn't tested the Wenet Slayer cannon, I wouldn't have obtained the necessary data. To fix a machine, you may only need to replace one gear, but the true challenge is finding that gear. These words from my mentor are beginning to make sense to me. I'm so glad you're here, Shreya. Uh, I'm glad you're here too. Huh? The atmosphere between these two became so different all of a sudden. I'm on. Just leave it. Ahem. <laughs> when we were cooperating on our graduation project, our relationship was rather rocky because we weren't very mature. Yeah, looking back on it, it wasn't anything too serious. Well, how about meeting at the cafe for a drink next time? We could discuss how to write the report. Okay, that's the end of that quest. So let's go ahead and look at the next part. I'll claim this too. And select this. In the desert, you once again see a familiar figure in the distance. But you don't hear the, the familiar arguing this time. It, I've got to wait till the next day again. Oh, they're not in the same area as before. They're all the way over here now. I don't understand. She was the one who mentioned the idea of going to the cafe to write the report. Uh, why are you here by yourself? Where's Shreya? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. She's off to work on the report by herself. We were supposed to meet at the cafe yesterday, but it took her a long time to show up. She didn't even bring me uh, bring any pen or paper for her report. I criticized her for wasting time when we should be working on the report, and then she flew into a rage. She said she'd write the report herself and made, uh, made me leave. This is ridiculous, don't you think? Uh, I think you messed up, dude. Still, I'm used to her fiery temper. She'll simmer down for in a couple of days. If only, con if only controlling her emotions was as simple as flipping a switch. Uh, best of luck, or good luck to you. Huh? Even you're acting strange. Oh well, never mind. There's still a few affected uh, when it around here, though I'm sure the situation will resolve itself if I just leave it alone. But if you have time, please help prevent them from threatening passers-by. By the way, the elemental environment and charging device are back to normal. There's never been a better time to experience the Wenet Slayer cannon at full power. Oh, I get to do another thing. I didn't think that we were going to do some more. Multiple Wenet in, bers in berserk states will appear one after another, but the, charging uh, but the charging device now at full operating capacity also stands ready. Defeat as many of the Wenet using the Wenet Slayer cannon as possible. Oh, really? Okay, Vinayak, let's finish this. Well, there are still some affected Wenet nearby. If you got the time, please help take care of them. That's what I'm here for. Wonderful. Why, this is the best opportunity to test the full output of the Wenet Slayer cannon, if I do say so myself. <laughs> huh. Look at those slimes. They were stuck in, the state, in that state for a second there. Solidified. So, I've got to still charge up the device. I thought that for a second there I wasn't going to have to do this again, but that's fine. Uh, okay, so I just got to keep dodging, right? Or do I go over here next? 
I think I go over here next, right? No, I'm not. I still have to be over here. What? Why did I think that I was supposed to go? Take flight. That's weird. Allow me. Time for takeoff. It's not a big deal because they give plenty of HP to the uh, the device, but Ruined still. Go. Dodge the one in attack and wait for ignition. Or wait for ignition, rather. Okay, cool. I uh, just gotta keep defeating enemies, right? Yeah. And now I can do this. Okay, go to the turret and fire. Cool. What? Am I supposed to stay by the turret? Oh, okay. Just like I thought. I'm supposed to go over here and do something with this. Uh... Oh. Neat. Thank you. Hmm. Come on, you can do better than that. Give me. There we go. I gotta go back to this over here. Uh, that'll destroy that one. Maybe I can pick up uh, this over here very fast. Yeah. I charged it up a little. Uh, where's the one at? Oh! No! Don't destroy the device! Well, I'm all the way back here. Uh, not a big deal. A slight mistake on my part. Leave me alone! Take this! Uh, oh. I can probably do that. And then pull him that way. Yeah. Oh no! Gotta get him off of there. Okay. And now I just gotta wait. Where... Where are the other enemies? Uh, you know what? There aren't any more enemies. Take this! Is this the end? It's probably the end. Because usually the cutscenes end like that. Yeah, that's the end. Well, there are still some affected one nearby. If you got time, please take care of them. Oh. Uh, maybe next time? I thought that surely doing what I just did would have resulted in a different conversation or something. But, oh, okay, you just get different uh, prizes depending on how well you do. Oh, that's nice, I got all of them. Anyways, so, believe it or not, this is actually where I'm going to be stopping. But before I do, I'm going to make some wishes very fast. Uh... I decided not to do the side quest in this video. Let's make the wishes all on Nahida's banner. Huh. Oh well. That's unfortunate. Um, anyway, so yeah, thanks for watching. Next time I play, I will be continuing the uh, side quest that I've been working on for the past several videos. Uh, Dreams Beneath the Searing Sand is what they're calling it now because, you know, it changed from what it was before, The Secret of All Akmar. Um, and then I may even uh, start the uh, Parade of Providence. This one's a longer uh, timed event, so that means that there's going to be more going on with it. But um, who knows? We'll see. Anyways, so yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.